Israel, known for its startup culture, is home to nearly 200 semiconductor companies including Intel, Samsung and many more. Israel is Silicon Valley of Middle East. The semiconductor industry has grown and thrived in Israel for last couple of years, but on 7th October 2023, things changed for Israel when it saw the deadliest attack from Hamas, leaving the entire nation shattered. Followed by the event, the country entered a state of war with Palestine. In this video, we will discuss what the Palestine war means to the technology companies and how it will have short and long term impact on semiconductor industry. Let's first try to understand some background and what is the position of Israel in the global semiconductor story. Over the past decade, Israel has solidified its position as major player in global semiconductor industry, with the semiconductor sector experiencing remarkable growth, hosting key players like Intel which invested 25 billion in new factory and featuring research and development center for giant like IBM, Google and Nvidia. Israel's semiconductor landscape is fortified by highly skilled workforce and robust startup ecosystem. The country's semiconductor export reached over 40 billion, contributing significantly to its GDP. Israel's proactive government support, coupled with focus on technological innovations, has attracted substantial investments, making it vital hub for semiconductor advancements and a key contributor to industry's global landscape. The most important player, Intel, has maintained a presence in Israel for almost 50 years with a network of design and production facilities across the country. They have around 13,000 people at five major Intel locations in country. Besides Intel, other major semiconductor players including IBM, Google, Nvidia and Microsoft have set up research and development centers in Israel. These centers focus on developing cutting-edge technologies contributing to Israel's reputations as a global technology hotspot. Numerous semiconductor startups have emerged developing innovative technologies and solutions. Some of these startups have been acquired by major global players. All these reasons are contributing to Israel's influence in the semiconductor market. Now let's try to understand short term impact on the global semiconductor industry due to this war. Intel has terminated its acquisition worth $5.4 billion of Israeli chip maker Tower Semiconductor signaling a shift in strategy. The termination is described as mutual, but there are underlying reasons and geopolitical issue is one of the major ones. Another reason for termination is that Israel might suffer from US-China rivalry. The US government is concerned about potential Chinese access to their infrastructure and they impose laws to curb this. As the situation is worsening because of war, there is direct terrifying impact on human resources. Also as transportation system has collapsed, making it difficult to import raw materials and export finished semiconductor products, thus there are supply chain disruption in Israel. Due to this, it might possible that Intel has to shut down the foundry for some time and it may not run at its full capacity. As we know that daily expenditure of foundry is millions of dollars. If it doesn't run at its full capacity, it will become a loss-making entity. Intel has declined to comment on the status of Israeli operations, but stated it is closely monitoring the situation and taking steps to support its worker. The impact of the war on semiconductor industry is not limited to Israel alone. The global nature of semiconductor supply chain means that disruption in one region can have ripple effects throughout the industry and everyone globally might suffer from the chip shortages. Now there are other terrifying human impacts as well. In the recent conflicts near Gaza border, it was reported that Nvidia engineer was kidnapped by Hamas fighters. IBM, Apple, Microsoft, Google and Facebook all have offices in Israel. Their workforce is totally disrupted as employees are mobilized for military services. This has an impact on the share market as well. Tower Semiconductor shares plummeted almost 11% while Intel also experienced a decline and if the situation continues, we may see further declines as well. Nvidia, the world's largest maker of chips used for artificial intelligence and computer graphics, they have cancelled an AI summit scheduled 
for Tel Aviv where CEO Jason Wang was due to speak. Now these are some short term impacts on technology companies due to Israel war. Let's talk about long term outlook for the semiconductor industry in Israel due to this geopolitical situation in the region. The semiconductor industry which is vital for Israel's economy may face disruption in the events of full scale conflict. Companies could encounter obstacle in resource allocation, particularly as military reservists are called up, impacting daily operations. Furthermore, heightened security concerns may necessitate additional measures to safeguard critical installations. While the industry has historically shown resilience, navigating these geopolitical complexities will require strategic planning, global collaboration, and focus on innovation to ensure the long-term sustainability of Israel's semiconductor leadership across the globe. There is another angle to the discussion as well. Some analysts anticipated that there would be increased investment in semiconductor industry due to the more military spending in Israel. In conclusion, the ongoing war in Israel has had significant impact on the semiconductor industry, not only for Israel but for the entire world as the semiconductor industry has ripple effect causing supply chain disruptions, delays in production and shortages of semiconductor components. The full extent of impact will depend on the duration and severity of conflicts but it is clear that the industry will face challenges in the coming months as it navigates through the difficult period. What do you think? Can Israel maintain its position as key player in the global semiconductor industry? Comment down your views below. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Your support keeps us going. Until then, keep learning, keep growing.